so I remember it like it was yesterday. You know, really what I think sparked me to where I am today was watching who was probably my biggest hero of my life um, be celebrated for his life, my father. Um, I always tell people all the time, they always say, what gives you the drive that you have? And I'll tell you. So my father was a big techie, so that's why I'm a big techie as well myself. I love gadgets and all types of stuff. I went to school for computer science, and um, I did it because I wanted to make him proud. And I remember my first year having a job, right, having this job. And through these years prior to even having this job, I've always tried entrepreneurship, but never found anything that could sink. In fact, I joke all the time. I was a professional tripreneur. Baby, I tried everything under the sun. So knives, vacuum cleaners, bales bondsmen, door-to-door -door sales. I mean, what, whatever you can sell. I even have a little magazine back in the day. I don't remember, you know, if y'all, I mean, I ain't sell nothing. I just tried it. So my father, they're, they're, they're calling me and telling me that my father is in the hospital. Now, my father had overcome so much. Open heart surgery. He was in the military 20 plus years. He was able to get clean from alcohol and drugs. And I saw him help hundreds to possibly even thousands of people. And now my father's being told he's in the hospital and I knew that the fact that they were calling me it was not that easy. Well, long story short, seven months later, my father had passed away from stage four lung cancer. And there was a pivotal moment during this entire process that forever changed my life. I was at, the, I was at his celebration of life in New Jersey and there was this gentleman from India and I never met anybody that my dad worked with, but he wasn't like an Indian American, he was from India. And I didn't realize how many different people that my father worked with. And I remember watching this guy literally sobbing, could barely walk. And it's like, I picture it because I saw him walking out the door as he was, you know, he walked by us and he walked out the door and he fell to his knees. And I remember at that moment, I wondered if my father knew how much of an impact he had on these people's lives. And at that moment, I decided that I no longer wanted to be in a position where I had to question if I was changing lives, I wanted to know. And so I stopped being a tripreneur and I became Taria Vision Avant, the queen. And this is just a vehicle right now, but the queen of book profiting. <laughs> You know, I laugh when we talk about the setback because this is probably a setback to some people. You're like, Taria, you're being dramatic. But for me, it meant everything. I told you guys, I'm a techie. So in this process, I had moved to Atlanta, Georgia to start this journey of no longer quitting these businesses, no longer being a tripreneur. And I joined this industry of home-based business, right? Now, mind you, they don't tell you, though, when you become a full-time entrepreneur that sometimes the money take a while to hit, you know what I'm saying? And so the process, I had a car that was paid for, praise the Lord, and um, I decided because I couldn't afford it, I'm going to downgrade my insurance to liability. Now, how many of y'all know when y'all sometimes make a decision, okay, things will happen quickly? Well, I downgraded my insurance to liability, and at the time we were doing a presentation with the business that I was in, and uh, somebody broke into my car. And they didn't just break in. I had my whole laptop. Now, don't, don't talk about me, but I had my whole laptop in the front seat with my MacBook Pro. And at first, I didn't realize that they had stole my laptop. I just was like, somebody broke into my winter, I mean, into my window in the middle of winter. And so I'm in the car, and as I get home, I realize my whole laptop is gone, which is basically my whole life. And for some people like to really use being dramatic for that moment, but no, that was when it really hit the fan that like in this journey of entrepreneurship, you're gonna have ups and downs. Y'all, I was crawling up the stairs, weeping. And I had called my friend at the time who's no longer here, may she rest in peace, Michelle. And I was like, girl, I don't think I can do this. This, I can't do this. They done stole my lap. I don't even have no money to fix the window. I don't have money to get another laptop. What am I going to do? This is how I do my business. And she says, sis, you're not going to give up. You're going to keep going. And it was like her believing in me at that moment. And I'm just so grateful for her because if it wasn't for that conversation, I probably would have given up at that moment because it was so heavy. And when I tell that story, some people are like, a laptop, listen, is sometimes the straw that can literally be what determines whether you move forward or you give up. 
And so for anybody listening, <laughs> if your laptop gets stolen, don't give up. Keep going. You got this. <laughs>
dreaming in your way. So going back to surrounding yourself around the right people, but dreaming in your way. You know, I have a desire to be able to do some great things. I want to be able to do business in Africa and help individuals to write books in Africa. I want to be able to travel the world and speak all over. I mean, shucks, your girl trying to do a conference in Dubai. I don't know nobody in Dubai, but I put it on social media and I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to stop dreaming and dreaming big. I will be an international speaker in multiple countries, not just in the field. Okay. And so never, ever, ever stop dreaming. So again, you got to surround yourself around the right people. You got to make sure that you get the things that you desire. You want to also make sure that you never stop dreaming and guess what? Live your life. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So I always love when I'm asked, where am I going? Like, where do I see myself down the line? And your girl sees big things, okay? I just want y'all to know. First of all, one of the things that I can tell you for a fact that I continuously do is envision myself in a stadium, standing on the stage. I don't care if I'm on the stage for two minutes, but baby, they, somebody introduced me and they know that's my name, okay? And I'm on somebody's big stadium stage. And the only way that I know that that can ever happen is if I... I have to continue to keep on visualizing it and not just visualizing it, but experiencing and celebrating it. So I know that I am going to impact the masses. In fact, my mission in life is to impact the lives of over 10 million men and women in mind, body and soul. So how do I get that done? Within the next three to five years, guys, we're going to be helping more speakers, more coaches, more in the home-based business industry, learn how to leverage their books and grow their businesses to six-figure businesses. Now, on a personal side, because I am a single woman over 40, and you know, like, statistics will try to tell you, honey, that, you know, <laughs> it's tough for us out here. But you know what? I see myself as being a woman of an incredible, incredible husband. I mean, a wife of an incredible husband, shall we say that? A man of God, a man that is out here leading and doing his own thing. So I'm speaking that right now. You know, when people used to ask me that, I would always leave that out. Because I didn't want people to be judging me. Well, you know, three to five years, what if she's still single? What happened? She must be crazy. Y'all, ladies, let me tell you something. We have got to stop being afraid to say what it is that we desire. Because if you're not speaking it, it's not going to happen for you. So, yes, I'm going to have a great business. My dog's still going to be alive because he old, but he going to still be alive. And I'm going to have me a good old, nice, good looking man that fears God, too. And so that's what we're going to be. I mean, we'll definitely have you know, impacted so many people. When it comes to this space, I will be one of the best known. And I'm not saying that with arrogance. I'm saying that with confidence and Godfidence, because if I don't speak it for myself, how's it ever going to happen for myself? So yeah, man, y'all just make sure y'all be looking out for me. Some of y'all be seeing me, right? But you about to see me. <laughs> So why do businesses hire me? Why specifically do speakers and coaches hire me? Well, one thing that I have been able to do is I have been able to learn how to leverage my book and turn it into a multiple six-figure business. And I will say what separates me from a lot of people because I've never called myself a book publisher. Now, a lot of people will confuse me with that, but baby, I am not a publisher. I'm just really good at teaching you how to turn a tool like a book into multiple streams of income, but also multiple, I will say multiple vehicles of marketing, shall we say, right? I don't leave home without my books and I learn how to take them places and use them as opportunities child, shoot, to get free food and all types of stuff. Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? And so really what separates me is that's my gift. Like I can literally take what it is that you want to be able to do, how you wanna impact the world, how you wanna be remembered. And we take that, we put that into the right book keyword, the right book, a book that people are searching for, and then we turn it into multiple streams of income. Listen, I don't know about you, but everybody wants to be significant. Everybody wants to be remembered. But, it, you know, unfortunately, if you're not getting on those stages, if you're not getting in front of the audiences, if people don't know who you are, how are you changing the world? Well, that's what we do. We show you how to take a book and change the world, how to impact the world with your words, how to get on more stages, how to get on more media, how to be able to get in front of those audiences who want your information. And another thing that I will say that I'm so proud about 
is how not to have to change who you are. Baby, I, stay, I show up as myself, okay? I show up in the way that Tariel was created to be. I don't have to be nobody else and pretend to be anybody else in order for me to get the word out to the people that God has called me to. And when you know that you are assigned to people, you don't have to switch up. You just be yourself, okay? And so that's what we do. And I can't wait, y'all. Listen, we got a goal. 1,000 authors generating over $10,000 a month. The truth is, is that most authors never make over 10,000 a year. Most speakers, most coaches never make over 10,000 a year. I know you thought they was because there's a whole lot of people pretending to be, yeah, they ain't make no money. But we're gonna switch that up, okay? So we wanna show you how to leverage that and get to $10,000 a month with the right people, of course. You know, I, I'm all about collaborating. And so making sure we do it with the right people and taking it next level. All righty. I look forward to working with you. I mean, what you doing? Come on, find out, get with me. What have I enjoyed? I don't even know if I'm supposed to start yet, but I'm gonna start right now because that's how I felt when I walked in. What have I enjoyed about this experience? Child, when I, first when I walked in through the door over here, they have about 20 cameras on me. I mean, it wasn't 20, but it felt like it was 20. I felt so good. I mean, how many of us have been working hard and sometimes we just don't feel seen? Now, I'm not going to say that I don't feel seen, but today they made me feel seen in a way I have never, ever been seen. It, it feels good to walk into somewhere and know that your hard work has gotten you in a space where you can do this type of stuff. And so, I mean, my experience, baby, I walked in, had pitches outside. I'm feeling like a queen and you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting up high, got the lights, the music, it's amazing. And most importantly, the quality of what they're doing here. I can tell you this, if you are a speaker, if you're a coach, if you're in network marketing, it, you, you try to figure out what you wanna do. This right here, video, and being able to get in some in front of some quality, like video editing and work like that is gonna take your business to the next level. And so I'm just, I can't wait to see the finished product, baby, because I'm about to send this out to everybody. Guess who about to get it? Oprah about to get this, Steve Harvey about to get this. Uh, what's the other TV shows out there? They about to get, I might even send this to some game shows. I don't even know, they might. Girl, you got so much charisma. Well, thank you so much, Shay Brown and the whole entire family, because <laughs> To Vision Avant is looking like a movie star. Yeah, okay, let me stop being so silly. No, but for real, this was an incredible experience and I will do it over and over and over again. Thank you so much. Thank you guys.